my name is Day9, and welcome back to Spell Slingers, the show where I play Magic the Gathering with my nerd friends. And today, said excellent nerd is none other than Claire Grant. Claire, wave to the camera. Hello, everyone Hello. at home. You guys probably know me mostly from like my nerdy online videos from Team Unicorn or Saber. Claire, how are you? I'm doing great. Do Very you, happy to be here. I know, I understand that you have a history playing Magic. I've been playing Magic since 2001. I was really interested in Magic in high school, but didn't really have any friends who played and was jealous of the kids who sat in the in the tables of the lunchroom playing. So when I started working at a pizza place in college, one of the guys that worked there were into Magic, and I was like, teach me everything. Claire. Right? Yes. Do you know how we select our decks? We're gonna spin that wheel. I was really expecting you to say, no, Sean, tell me how. Should I say, no, Sean, tell me how? I'd really appreciate that. I need this job. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta help me out, man. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Claire, do you know how the decks are selected? No, I do not. My God, are you an actress? Because I could see, like, that felt sincere. <laughs> you should. Or very unsincere. <laughs> you, you should act. That was good. I really liked that. Yay. It's time to spin the wheel of fate. Yay. It works as a traditional game show wheel might, but as I discovered earlier, these are just nails. Oh. They literally made a board and they just jammed some nails in mm -hmm. so they're sharp because they're made of metal. Okay. So be a little careful when you spin it. Okay. Yes! <laughs> I was really excited when I got the black and white deck because it's it's sort of like mirrors my soul, just like walking that line between light and dark at all times. <sighs> okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. All right. They call me one shot plot. Mm -hmm, Look at that. Mm -hmm. Getting the triple color deck, I'm going to be the green, the red, and the white. I'm always excited for three color decks because they tend to be a little controly, they tend to be a little slower, but you always get these really crazy powerful combinations. All right, sit up, stretch a little bit. Sometimes it can be uh, yes. a little uh, tough on the body, but now okay. get ready to summon the deck in three, two, one. Uh. And there it is. There it is. And now we shuffle. But before we do even consider rearranging the nature of our cards, Wheel, you are no longer needed. Bye. Oh my God, isn't that sad? It just dims. What's like the most dramatic game of magic that you've ever played? Take me to that moment. I went to the um, oh, yeah. New Zealand uh, Kamikaze Comic Con or whatever yeah. it was called. They had pre-made decks that oh, you could really? just like sit down and play or you could like learn or whatever, the kids that I was playing against just totally misunderestimated me. Is that a word? Misunderestimated. It's not a word. It's they over-anti-estimated you. They did, yes. Mm -hmm. So you got some kid. What does this player look like? He had black curly hair and he's very young. How young? <laughs> young enough to like scream when I beat him. <laughs> Wait, did you just like beat a seven-year-old in magic? <laughs> It was one he of the best times. He might have been times. like 13, and it was. Okay. It was so wonderful. I felt so great. Oh my gosh, yeah, no, Being that's... a child in magic. I probably wouldn't be the greatest mom. Well, I'm 31, and if I lose, I'm gonna scream. Mm -hmm. so, so you might get the double joy. Who I would, knows? <clears throat> I would love to beat you. So everyone has a ridiculous magic story. Hers is, mm, oh, it is so good, so sweet. But I am a little concerned when she says she's been playing since 2001. Uh. A nine, that's on brand. Expensive. Boom, he's so powerful. All right, um, I, no, I'm gonna go first. All right, so I am going to read some cards real fast. Claire, I got a keeper. I'm, I'm keeping mine. All right. Yeah. Dude, let's play. Let's play. W let's play the Yay. game. First things first, I'm gonna play the Evolving Wilds. This, this is a nice card. I can tap and sacrifice it to look for any basic land in my deck and put it into play. Now, what the really cool kids do is I wait till the end of your turn to do it, and I'm nothing if not someone who wants to look cool. So I'm gonna pass the turn to you. I'm just gonna leave the Evolving Wilds out. Part of the reason why good players wait for the opponent's turn before they play Evolving Wilds is because it completely conceals what colors I'm playing. Draw a card. She's gonna, she's gonna whisper. She's, she's gonna whisper. That's what we're gonna do. All right, I'm gonna, All right. I'm gonna drop that. Oh, what's this? It's my, it's my land that Interest. I can tap for white okay. or black mana. All right, it's just a dual land. All right, 
It's just it's just a mere dual land. It's just a dual land. This is a night deck with some angels in it, which I love. My favorite deck is an angel in it. At the end of your turn, I will tap the evolving wild. Slick little move here. And I'm gonna search for good. It's on the bottom. That's all I needed. Now I'm gonna shuffle this in a moment. I'm gonna toss this to the graveyard. I'm gonna use my evolving wilds to get a forest, because I already got a mountains, I already got a plains, and it's gonna help me be a well-rounded bear. And I can even summon my land or elves, so it's clearly the right play. This is where time slows down a little bit. I probably should have done it when it was my main phase. This is this is not compelling content. This is It's great. It's great. You know it's, what? It's very compelling. You know yeah. what? It kind of is. Like yeah. the way that I'm shuffling, it's like sophisticated. <laughs> I'm gonna start describing my shuffling techniques like mm -hmm. a food critic. It's subtle yet herbaceous. Given my limited understanding of Dominaria, I'm pretty sure Claire's black white deck is going to be something around building a horde of knights to just swing in and overrun me. So I'm trying to prepare something to just completely shut her board growth down. So I am now going to play a mountain. I'm going to tap the forest and play Lanoer Elves, the one one that I can tap for the manor mana. And that's it. And that's, that's great. it. I'm done. This okay. mountain is doing nothing. Although this art for the mountain is amazing. Is that what they look like in Utah? Like this is so tight. Never been to Utah. I've never Googled Utah. I'm confident that this is what the mountains in Utah look like. Gonna tap some land. I'm gonna put out this human knight. Human oh. knight. Has first strike hexproof from white. Knight of Malice gets plus one plus zero oh, as long as any player controls a white permanent. Okay. The first card I play is the two two knight, which really has Sean quaking in his boots. All right, I'm just gonna play an evolving wilds, which we are already well familiar with. I'm going to get another Lanaware elves out, and then I think I think we're good. No, actually, no. I'm just gonna do this right now. I'm just gonna. Sack this to go hunt for a mountain. Okay. And uh, feel free to take your turn. Feel okay. free to take your turn. I'm okay. done. I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna be such a constructive, helpful bear. Great. Oh, is that the one that doesn't come out tapped if you control one? Yes, I have to control two or fewer other lands. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap all of them. I'm gonna put uh, this guy out. Now I play the Bindelish Marshal, which gives a 1-1 one, one to my other creatures, which made my other guy a 3-3, three, three, which is awesome. As you're casting it. I'm gonna respond by playing Sheevan Fire to zap it for two, because this night I have lost so many drafts against. I'm blowing him up. He's dead, Claire, you have to let go. No! <laughs> so, Sean just shanked me because he belongs in prison. Okay, all right, you, you can kill my knight. Just start slamming your fist. No! I quit, I'm out no! of shit! I hate games! So I'm going to play a plains. Mm -hmm. So I'm developing a nice little collection of the manor mana. My land were elves, though they look threatening. Uh, they're gonna do nothing. Nope. They're do nothing dudes. I have more mana than I know what to do with, but I really only have one big play, which is Urza's Ruinous Blast, which I think is maybe just gonna be enough to completely shut Claire down for the entire game. So I have one goal. How do I both get Jaya out and Urza's Ruinous Blast out on the same turn because I need Jaya to be able to cast the Ruinous Blast? I'm gonna pass my turn to that Claire over there. Like I just don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna play this Swamp. Very well. Thanks. All right, and then I'm gonna, you know, I'm just, I'm gonna attack you. In response to the attack, I'm just gonna take three damage, dude. Boom, first blood. Okay, so I tapped all of my mana. Nice. So that I can play this enchantment. Oh, that's the new Saga cards. So a Saga is a new type of card in Dominaria that it's an enchantment, but the effect changes as the turns go on. It does something different on turn one, two, and three that it's out. So generally the turn one and two is kind of okay but the turn three effect can be really, really powerful. The first two are create two zero one black cleric creature tokens. All right, so I'll find two black cleric tokens. Yeah. On the third phase, I get a six six flyer with trample and with my knight, that means I have a seven seven and four one twos. And then also for the counter to put on mm -hmm. the saga, you oh. have your choice. I want choice the big guy. Okay. So you have a three three and two zero ones. Actually, actually, this this uh, human knight right here oh, makes these. Oh, that's right. One twos. I thought it was other knights you control. It's just other creatures it's you other control. Other creatures. Um, that is that's bad. Or great. 
That's it's not, great. It's really great for me. I would call it anti-positive. So I technically can cast Urza's Ruinous Blast right now, clearing the board, eliminating the concern about the demon, but she's gonna get the demon anyways. I'm kind of hoping she'll cast yet another creature so I can get the biggest blast possible. I'm at least gonna play the Rootbound Crag, which is a dual land that comes into the battlefield tapped, unless I control a mountain or a forest. I think I literally am just gonna pass my turn. I'm passing it. Why, because you have some trick up your sleeve? It's not that I have a trick up my sleeve, but I might. I'm not gonna confirm nor deny that. In fact, I can't go into that information at this time. Sean's got a lot of mana, but not a lot of creature cards, which makes me really nervous that he's building to something that's, that's going to devastate me. So I'm going to advance my saga. All right. I'm gonna throw uh, two more black clerics on here, which make them one twos. Got an army of one twos against me. Got an army. I'll just scoot some of these little oh my dudes gosh, over. Thank you. Yeah, no, let me help you out That's here so with this nice big horde. Yeah, oh my no, god. Is, uh... With my Bindalish Marshal, I now have an army of one twos. So, Sean, better be worried. I'm just gonna attack you. All right, she's swinging in. I'm gonna go with this guy, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this guy. I'm gonna go with this guy, but maybe I just leave these two, just in case. I need As them. if you had a choice. All right, very well. Okay. Uh, so that is three, four, five damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna accept this damage. I'm gonna go to 12. To 12 I have gone. Okay. This marshal's kind of a pain in the ass because the zero one clerics are supposed to just be food for the flying demons. They're not supposed to do anything, but now one, two, even though it's not a ton of damage, I still can't really do anything about it. I just have a bunch of elves that'll die if they block. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be done. I will accept the turn, but with great caution. Oh my God, dude. We have some real hype news. Check this out. We mm -hmm. have job applications for only Llanowar Elves right now, and the spots are filling up. Uh, looks like we're struggling to get some of upper management positions filled in, though. <laughs> I'm kind of... I feel like you're plotting something. This just doesn't, like, I. this doesn't feel right. I mean, this doesn't feel right. It feels in fact, right this for feels, me. This feels wrong. It this, feels really right for me. Is that so? Okay, well... But it also makes me scared. Like, thus far we You seem very calm. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, I'm freaking out inside. I'm amazed that mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. the external air. Okay. You, see, I am the duck. <laughs> because the duck moves gracefully across the top of the pond. And little do you know, underneath the water, I have these tiny little feet furiously flapping away. <laughs> I have anxiety. All right. I pass the turn. All right, now I'm gonna create a 6-6 six, six black demon creature with flying. Let me. I'm gonna remind you, it also has trampling. Flying demon. Trample. Well, wonderful is 6-6 six, six Flying Demon. Historically, these can be dealt with if you have cards. <laughs> yeah, you're, su <laughs> you're such a magic player that... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't do it. it just, I'm just following the instructions. Yeah, that's exactly that what's happening. I would also like to point out that he's not a 6-6. Six, six, he's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Just okay. a reminder. I thought you were going to be like, he's not just a six. He's just a six. A we're flying and trample. No, okay. You're hitting me with them board interactions. Yeah. I get you. Uh -huh. I feel you. I'm going to play another saga. This is the history of Banalia. As the saga enters and after your draw step, add a lore counter. Okay. Create a 2-2 two -two white knight creature token with vigilance. Do I get to do that now? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yay. Yes. I'm so excited. Do I get to do that now? She says giggling. Is this all right if I just keep summoning dudes? I'm so excited. Here we go. Here's my my new knight. So now I've got a 3-3 three, three knight and all of these things. So I'm going to attack you with um, these four cards. All right. There you go. Just I'm swinging in. Just, just doing it. I'm going to block this one and this one. Okay. So mm -hmm. these two die. Okay. Two of these clerics get through, so I go to 10. Okay. Ooh, 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 that not good, not good. I am going to tap these three mm -hmm. as red. I'm going to tap these two. So for five mana, I'm going to play the Planeswalker, Jaya Ballard. It gets to happen now. The Ruinous Blast is actually gonna go off, and this is a pretty high value blast. I'm getting about six creatures and an enchantment off the field. And her plus one is add three red mana to your mana pool, spend this mana only to cast instants or sorcery spells. So I'm gonna do that, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, here we go, here we go, we're going to six, bam. So now I have three, 
and then I'm going to get one white and one forest, and I'm going to cast Urza's Ruinous Blast to exile all non-land permanents that aren't legendary. No! It's really unfortunate. Well, it is and it isn't. It is in that all your stuff's dead. But it isn't in that I don't have any cards left. Oh, it's a clear board. I have a planeswalker up. I have a bunch of mana. Can't really do anything else, but at least I get a few turns to breathe. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, you're done. I did it. I did Look the thing. Look at that. Now I see what he was up to. He wiped out all of my creatures, but he got to keep his planeswalker. I guess I have no choice but to bring out Lyra Dawnbringer. Sean's gonna blow up my board. Doesn't matter. I have this sweet Lyra angel that I've been hanging on to just in case something like this happened. I'm gonna bust it out. 5-5 five, five, flyer with lifelink. Oh my god, no. Oh god. I have lost so many drafts to this card. How dare they include it in her deck? How dare wizards? Well, good luck to me. I want luck. I know, I'm, I, I literally just blew up an entire board and I'm like, oh, come on. Okay, okay. I, I have something that is not helpful to me. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use, I'm gonna use her second ability. Discard up to three cards, then draw that many cards. So I'm gonna discard Sheevan Fire, which can deal up to four damage. Not enough to deal five. So I'm going to discard one and I'm gonna draw one. It's okay. your turn. All right. Okay, all I'll right. Untap here. All right, so do you wanna okay. attack me or Jaya? Jaya. Are you sure? Let's get Jaya. Are I mean, let's go after Jaya. I have a perfectly ripe health pool at 10 right now. I'm not listening, Sean. I'm not listening. All right, that's going to go to two. And uh, you're going to need another dice since your health is going to go up to 25. And I'm okay with that. Oh. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Oh. That's great. I'm so excited. It's as refreshing as herbal right. essences. Right. Oh. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay, let's get something juicy here. Oof. <laughs> Yay, I like that. Oof. Ow. My bones. <laughs> so, I will be using the plus one ability of my soon-to-be-dead Jaya to discard a forest and a mountain. So Jaya's minus eight ability is really nice. It lets me cast spells from my graveyard, so it's basically like I get to cast every spell two times, once from the hand, once from the graveyard. If I can get to the chance where I can cast that ability. One, two, come on. What Jaya's really letting me do is dig for a solution while she slowly dies to death. I can't tell if that's good or bad. Are you happy or sad right now? I'm, I feel sad, bad, sad. I mean, like, it's, I know what I, I'm gonna do, I just haven't accepted it yet. I play a mountain. It is a majestic okay. and beautiful mountain. It is. It will provide mana, which I have a good amount of. Perfect, another basic land. In addition, mm -hmm. I will play the legendary Marwyn the Nurturer. <laughs> One one that okay. can grow slowly over time and okay. also provides additional mana. Uh, my turn's over. I'm ready. The very first thing I'm going to do is tap this guy and make your guy a negative one one until the end of turn. And then I'm going to get a, a green something or other. Here we go. Give you He's fungal infection out. back. He's coming out. So I know Marwin's dead, and I know you found that. Quite funny. I did. I'm just having trouble letting go, you yeah. know? I thought we really yeah. had something special, me and Marwin the Nurturer. We, we keep tapping. Just tapping all the time. Now I'm gonna play this uh, saga again, the Rite of Belzenlock. So I get to play another saga, and at the end of this saga, the story is that Sean is dead. Bring this guy back out, I'm gonna pick these up again. <laughs> <laughs> So happy. Okay, Claire's being a little greedy with the sagas here. She's at like the saga buffet, getting a little bit of everything. Oh, Bells and Lock was nice. I'll have a second serving of that. Claire, look, you already have a 5-5 five, five flyer. You don't need to very kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. I guess now I'm going to attack with Lyra Dawnbringer. Do you want to attack me? No, or... no, no. No. Are you sure? I'm so... So positive. With no cards in hand, I have to resort to psychological warfare to help distract Claire from what's really important. 
Sean keeps trying to get me to use my angel to attack him instead of his planeswalker, but I'm just going to attack his planeswalker. Let's just do some things over here. Well, again, doing some organization. I'm yeah. going to put the dice with mm -hmm. the dice. I'm going to yeah. put the dead with the dead in right. the graveyard. It appears she's seen through my plan. Yeah. And, and then I, I get to add. Oh, that's right. You're at 30 to, now. Let's yeah. just get, it's a good thing we literally oh, have tens of my dice. <laughs> God, I am so excited. Uh, wow. This is, this is really, oh, God. like, the things that I'm feeling mm -hmm. inside right now are just pure and wonderful, and I hope I don't get in trouble for feeling so good. Okay. Yeah, I actually feel like there needs to be a law. <laughs> a law about expression of joy when you're crushing <laughs> someone else. Uh, look at me, I have nothing. You know, I'm really, um, I'm holding back right now. I'm just, I'm just gonna take the Let's turn. see what happens. I just claim. Let's see what happens. I claim the right to my turn, oops. I'm nervous. I'm really hoping there's another Urza's Ruinous Blast somewhere in my deck. Or anything that can deal with a huge board of creatures. Like again, if I just get one of those cards, I'll be okay. I'm going to play Grow from the Ashes. It's a spell that lets me get more land. Okay. So I'm going to tap this, and I'm going to tap this, mm -hmm. but I also wish to kick it. Okay. So I'm going to pay an extra two mana, okay. which lets me look for two basic lands. So my deck that's really good at helping get more mana out is still solving that problem that we already solved like four turns ago. So yeah, give me two basic lands and no spells. Perfect. I'm sorry, just go. Okay. Finish me off. I'm gonna untap, I'm gonna draw. That means this saga. I'm just gonna put this out. And these guys are here. What's nice about spell slingers is that they let me keep the shirts. You're so happy. Here uh, we go. All right, well. Here we go. 10 minus six is oftentimes four. So, I'm at four. I know, but I get to add another five to my health. Keep, keep taking the just dice. Gonna, I'm just, just making keep sure that doing it. I want all these lines to be as straight as they can be <laughs> because that's the little kingdom I'm in charge of right now. Look at how cute all my yellow dye are next to my big black one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hope that makes it in the edit. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn to go. So I'm 99% sure I've lost. Emotionally, I'm prepared to lose at this point. She's got cards in hand, she has a million things on the board. Maybe there's a card I've never heard of that is living somewhere within my deck. Probably not, but that doesn't mean that we can't build tension. Okay, I'm gonna untap. This has to be the, this is the most important card I've ever drawn. There is nothing that Sean can draw to save him right now. I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna flip it up for both of us to see because okay. I'm gonna cast it no matter what, right? I can't do nothing because I die next turn. So I cast. It's a land. Are we serious? The mountains in Utah are just breathtaking. I passed the turn. Kill me. So the way that the story goes is that my angel, Lyra, she's just gonna march her army into the field and she's going to destroy Sean and bring me sweet, sweet life in return. I'm gonna advance. I'm gonna put out my 6-6 six, six fire that has all kinds of cool things. Demon, here's my demon. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good, I'm so excited. Oh, I can't attack with him, what a bummer. Okay, wow, yeah, so let's just, uh, let's just kill you. Can I kill you? Just like, there, and you know what, just for the fun of it. There we go. Get four die next to your <laughs> big black one. That's one yellow die, two yellow die, three, oh, double life, 40 life points. I mean, Claire, feels so good. GG. <laughs> yeah. However, like, I mean, I actually have some pretty sick cards I'm in sure. here. I'm sure. Somewhere, like, I, Jaya's Immolating Inferno, mm -hmm. three damage to each of, or mm. X damage to each yeah. of the three targets. That could have helped. Could have. A territorial Allosaurus. Yeah, too bad. Oh, we have more Marwins. We have more mm -hmm. Grow from Ashes. Yeah. Sean, you lost. Accept it. Well, I will use the permissions is granted to me at the start of the episode to channel my inner 13 year old Australian. You didn't Australian. even take one single point away from me. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 It's really incredible how 
this temper tantrum fed me as much joy as that sweet little boy in New Zealand fed me. And as always, in your future games of Magic the Gathering, may you draw well. Thanks for watching. Bye 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 bye. Bye.